بعد ليلة عنيفة هنا في شمال القطاع. In the wake of an all-night intense carpet bombardment on both Jabalia refugee camp and Jabalia al-Balad, we were finally able to reach inside Al Jurun area. The Israeli occupation force destroyed a large number of residential homes. Dozens were killed and injured, and the paramedics were not able to come to their rescue as the bombardment went uninterrupted. As you can see, dead bodies of those killed as a result of the artillery shelling remain lying all over the area. Four members of this family were killed. Here are the bodies of the father and the youngest girl. We were sleeping and all of a sudden we were showered with missiles and shells. We watched the explosions to find them killed and buried under the rubble. We were trapped in this part of the house. The ambulance and paramedics are still unable to reach this neighborhood. The dead bodies are still lying here, including this young girl. The scale of damage is massive in this area. As we are filming, the Israeli occupation force is still firing artillery shells all over the place. More than 25 members of my family are buried under the ruins. That's in addition to more than 20 of my neighbours. All of them are buried under the debris. We are helpless. We cannot remove these concrete blocks with our bare hands. We have been reeling under aerial airstrikes all night, followed by a waves of artillery shelling. All my family members were killed, including my father, mother and my brothers and sisters and all their children. All were killed, all buried underneath. None of them survived. A total of 50 individuals were killed and buried under there. I'm speechless. Here is the dead body of a young child. It's not even his body, only body parts. This young child, like many others, was torn to pieces. At about four in the morning, we woke up to the shelling. Without a warning, missiles and shells fell on our heads. The roof collapsed on us. This is the five-floor building of our neighbors. It was leveled, and all of them were buried under the rubble. We are not able to do anything. I myself recovered five dead bodies. No one can leave or enter the area. No ambulance or civil defense are able to come to our rescue. Dead bodies are buried under the debris and we are helpless. Even the injured are not able to reach any medical help. This is unbearable. As you can hear, the Israeli occupation force is targeting us with artillery shells. This area inside Al Juru neighborhood where we are is being pounded. Injuries continue to mount with no help on the horizon. Anash Al Sharif, north of Gaza. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.